There's a bunch of Serb guides already out there that show you the basic mechanics like how to get there, gear setups, dodging the lava pools, etc. But I think all that stuff is intuitive and you learn that and get better at it by just fighting the boss. The mechanic people seem to struggle with the most though is timing when to switch prayers for the ghosts. This is what frustrates people most with Serb and it's what I'm here to help you with today. Because after doing thousands of Serb KC across my accounts, I don't think this thing I'm about to show you is intuitive. This is something that people need to be told. So Serb does a Rue and summons the ghosts. And from there, what I do is I memorize the order in my head from left to right with the camera facing towards them. Uh, in this case, I'll think, okay, red, blue, green, which, you know, corresponds to melee mage range. And that's the order that you're me praying. However, in all my Serb KC, I have never, ever, ever looked at the ghosts to determine when to switch prayers. All I do is stare at the prayer orb the whole time. So just stare at the prayer orb and wait for it to drop by 30. And as soon as it drops, that is the timing when to switch your prayers. Another thing I want to help with is the lava pool and ghost combo. On Serb's attacks number 14 and 15, if she's under 200 health, she'll summon the ghosts and then do lava pools, which is really stressful when learning. So all you have to do is run across the map because the lava pools spawn around your character. So if you're already actively running to the other side, then you won't have to worry about dodging the lava pools and you can just pray against the ghost accordingly since you already memorized the order. Again, you just gotta stare at the prayer orb and wait for it to drop to know when to switch. Also, when this combo happens, you might wanna switch your overhead to correspond to the first ghost before you start running across the room. One last thing I wanna talk about is ghost skipping and red X flinching. These are two methods you've probably heard about, which Iron Men do to save prayer pots at Serb, but both these methods are just god awful slow. In my opinion, these are traps for Iron Men, and I would highly recommend not doing them. You get like half the kills per hour, which translates into doubling how long your task takes. And with the time saved by getting your task done faster, you could use that time to thieve Master Farmers for like 20 Ranner Seeds per hour, which overall comes out to like 100 Fordos prayer pots per hour. And you'll be getting thieving XP, farming XP, and herbal XP from the time saved, and you'll be getting faster Slayer and Combat XP by just killing the boss normally instead of doing those slow cheesing methods. And if your excuse is that you don't have the proper thieving level or farming level, then you should take care of those first because that will set your Iron Man up for success for all the future PVM that you'll be doing. Basically, you're gonna get those levels eventually anyway, so you may as well do it now. Thanks for watching, I hope these Serb tips helped, and I'll see you next time.